So this video is about uh, experimenting with sound. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a, a stick and uh, hitting a variety of different objects. Uh, kids at home, please make sure that you have your parents' permission to be hitting anything that would be around your house. But these are pretty common items that, uh, that can be easily accessible. Uh, but the whole point is just to sort of see uh, uh, the variety of sounds that we can, we can make with different objects and how uh, changes in those objects can affect the sound. So the first thing I was going to do was just to, a simple piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to take my stick. Kind of like a high-pitched sound, almost a little bit like, uh, like lightning. Like lightning. But I'm going to take another piece of paper and I'm going to crumple it up so there's lots of holes and ridges and crumpled up. Let's see if it makes a different sound. You can hear that sounds a little more flatter, right? A little different than the other piece of paper. Uh, let's try something else. A piece of cardboard. This is a flat piece of cardboard. Now I'm going to do a box. Now remember, a box is hollow on the inside. There's nothing on the inside. Okay, so let's see if that makes a different sound. You can almost hear a little bit of an echo with that, right? And the sound's a little deeper as well, right? Good. Uh, next, let's try uh, something hard. Uh, I'm going to use uh, my uh, I'll use my Tupperware container here. It's something hard. Here we go. One, two, three. I could use the floor too, but make sure you don't have any neighbors below you that you might aggravate. And let's try that against something that's a little soft. Uh, I have some pieces of felt here that are really soft, and let's see what they sound like. Almost like a muffled sound, not very loud at all, right? Not compared to the hard one. Good, and one more. Uh, make sure you have your parents' permission for this. Okay, I have two pots, okay? Uh, one's a little bigger than the other one. Let's see if the sound makes a little difference. We're gonna do the smaller one first. Here we go. Maybe on the side there, yeah, it's a little different. Okay, and we'll put that against the bigger one. Here we go, let's do this. You can hear that the bigger one produces a lower note, a lower sound, okay? So when we're experimenting, uh, remember there's things that we need to consider. You need to consider the material that you're using. If it's a hard material, it's going to have a loud, crisp sound. But if it's a softer material like paper or, or felt or the latter, uh, it's going to be a, a, a softer sound. Um, you also need to consider the material that you're using. Oh, here's another example. I have uh, a piece of wood here. Let's try that. And this is a terracotta pot that I use for my planting. It's made of clay. Let's try that. Now it is hollow on the inside and that's affecting the sound as well. But what if I took some of these felt materials, stuffed it in there, and see if that would change the sound at all? No, not really. Hmm. 
So remember, size, the material, and the, even the shape of that material can affect um, sounds that are produ the sounds that are produced. Um, around your house, I want you to try and experiment with different things. Make sure you have your parents' or guardians' permission before you start hitting everything. But see if you can come up with your own unique sound, and then you can start to put a little bit of an orchestra together. Take some videos of whatever it is you're playing, send them to me and I'll put them up on the website. Hope you guys are doing well.